Thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Lee Mills. Too many emotions to handle. That's how the family of a missing Madison man feels after nine long months of searching ends with the discovery of his body. NBC 15's Marcus Arsvold shares the questions the family still has while they deal with the emotions of knowing their loved one is truly gone forever. Christopher Miller's body was found in the home you can see behind me. His mother and fiance have been searching for him for nearly nine months, even searching this area right here. They say this discovery brings out more questions than it does answers. He was my best friend. We talked about everything. Um, he was a good person. Chris Miller's mom, Tammy James, does not feel a sense of closure right now. It's just a shock. Um, closure, I don't know, because there's still so many more questions. As a mother, she can't help but consider what happened during his final moments. Did he eat? I just want to know how long he's been there. She's in disbelief that he could make it all the way to this house after he was pulled over and ran away from law enforcement miles away during the winter. He didn't just walk that far and go to that house and sat there for not for almost nine months and just died it's too far of a distance with no cold just a jogging suit in that weather that those feels i just don't see it miller's fiance mallory durst now has to explain to their children that they won't see their father again I tell Carter every night when I rock him to sleep that his dad loves him very much and he always will and he'll look at pictures in our house and still say dada and daddy and like we'll watch videos together. Durst gave birth to their daughter after Chris went missing. She named her after him. I'm just thankful that I took a lot of pictures and videos of him and Carter um, to just have as memories. Um, our daughter, Krishan, won't have that because he wasn't here when she was born. The Rock County Sheriff's Office is still outside of the abandoned home. They say they don't have any new information they can share with us that they didn't share yesterday. Tammy and Mallory share with me that they spoke with the medical examiner's office and they told the family they won't know the exact cause of death or how long Christopher was inside this home for months. And that was Marcus Arsvold reporting for us. The Rock County Sheriff's Office and Rock County Medical Examiner's Department say they are continuing to investigate Miller's death. Now, Miller was last seen near Janesville back on November 19th of last year. According to the Rock County Sheriff's Office, Miller was running away from State Patrol troopers who were trying to pull him over for speeding. Miller's family has been searching for him ever since. Deputies found the body after getting a tip that led them to that abandoned home in the town of Turtle. NBC 15 first broke this story on air and online through our app. Make sure you have our news app and have the breaking news notifications turned on. That way you get the latest information.